Hello everyone, welcome to this video lesson. This problem is regarding the angular momentum, which in turn we will solve basing on the cross product of two vectors. Let us first try identifying what is given in the problem. It is given in a problem that there is a body of mass root 2 kilogram and that is projected with a speed v at an angle 45 degree to the horizontal. Let us first visualize that part and then we will go to the next part of the problem after understanding this. So it is given that a body is projected. So if we have taken a plane where a body is projected, it is projected with a velocity v making an angle theta and it is also having a mass m. So we know whenever a body is projected with an angle, it takes a path of a parabola. Now this velocity can be resolved into components. Velocity in this direction is Vx. That is V cos theta by resolving the vectors. Velocity in this direction is nothing but equal to Vy. That's nothing but equal to V sin theta. It is projected with a velocity and with an angle is also given for you. And it is said that when the body has reached its maximum height, this is what our h maximum. So, probably we have derived in the previous cases, it is there in the video lesson of one dimensional motion. Please check if you don't know this. h maximum is u square sin square theta by 2g. In our problem, u is given like v, that is v square sin square theta by 2g it is measured from the ground along the positive y axis so if i have to represent like a vector i have to call it like a j cap and being it is h maximum when the height becomes maximum when the respective velocity becomes zero so i can say at h maximum Velocity of the body along y axis that is nothing but v sin theta becomes 0. That means at this point there is no v sin theta, there is only one v that is nothing but equal to the horizontal component of velocity v cos theta that is along the positive x axis. So I can say i cap. Now we want to calculate at this maximum height what is the angular momentum is let us see what do you mean by angular momentum probably you know angular momentum is defined as momentum of momentum r bar cross p bar r bar cross p bar is nothing but equal to mv bar in our problem in this given problem r is nothing but h maximum and v bar is nothing but equal to v cos theta then let us write l bar as m of r bar plus v bar it is given in the problem that m is root 2 r is nothing but h maximum that is v square sin square theta by 2g along j cap cross m v bar but m you have already written outside it's nothing but v i have to write v cos theta along i cap therefore what will be our answer is root 2 v square and v v cube sin square theta cos theta by 2g j cap cross i cap we have proved this in vectors if you are or not uh, familiar with this if you don't know this i want you to go to that vector video lesson i have proved it and just identify j plus k and j cross k equal to minus i so as j cross k is minus i angular momentum will become root 2 v cube theta is given like 45 sin square 45 is nothing but equal to 1 by 2 cos theta is nothing but 1 by root 2 by 2g 
and the remaining value is nothing but equal to minus k cap. So angular momentum is, you can say, this root 2 and this root 2 gets cancels. And V cube 2 and 2 or G J cross I is nothing but equal to minus K cap. Thus we can find out the vector quantity of any of the two vectors as a cross product where we are using cross product of the two vectors. Thank you for watching.